let's go shopping. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Michael, nice to meet you. Today, I am so excited. I am making keychains, yeah, using shrink plastic. I've seen this on YouTube and I wanted to try it myself. So I got everything that I could possibly need to make them. First, we have shrink plastic, obviously. I got this from Amazon and I think this is like the, the brand that everyone is talking about, shrinky things. It has 10 sheets inside and yeah. Next, I got some keychains, obviously. To make some keychains, we need some keychain, keychain, not kitchen, keychain rings. And I got this from Amazon. Next, to make a hole, I got a punch. Hole punch, hole puncher, I don't know this thing. I also got this from Amazon. Next, you will need some markers, pencils. This is the one that we use. I got them from Amazon and they are Crayola markers and colored pencil. This is the same pencil and markers that I use in my video when I recreated my childhood art. I put the like a description box. And some scissors. Oh, I forgot, I probably will need this. These are mini craft pliers. You have a round nose plier, a wire cutter, and a chain nose plier. Um, okay, I'm gonna use this. I got this from the dollar store for $4, uh, okay. So I'm gonna read the instructions for shrink plastic because I know that by watching some videos on YouTube that you have to actually draw the object that you want bigger than the size because it shrinks. It says here that it shrinks to third of its original size, becomes nine times thicker. And if I look here, the first step is to color, the second step is to cut, the third step is to bake, and the fourth step is to shrink. I mean, okay. In this specific assortment creative pack, you have different colors as I can understand. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm gonna do my best to draw something big enough for it to be good when it bakes because when it bakes, it actually shrinks so it becomes way smaller. I've been thinking about ideas of stuff that I wanted to draw and stuff that I wanted to make kitchens of and I think that the proper way to start off this DIY project is by making a cow keychain. If you guys don't know, my favorite animal is cow. Yeah, I just want to make the cow emoji, I think. I search on Google the cow emoji and I'm just going to trace this. You gotta follow the steps with me. This is the first time that I do this, so it's a first for me too. Okay, so that's the thing. Also, if you ask me my favorite emoji and the emoji that I use every single time that I take someone is the cow emoji. First, I'm going to open these shrink plastics. Okay, how am I supposed to? Oh. Ah! Okay! Satisfying. Oh, okay! I don't know it looked like this. I think I got the wrong one. I think the one that the one that people use is the frosted one or maybe the white, the bright one, but this. Oh my god! I think I got the wrong one. Oh. What do I do now? Okay, so <laughs> for now I'm going to use the frosted sheets because I don't know what to do with the other ones. I want to draw the outline with the markers and then I'll be coloring with the pencils. So I want to take the, do we have like a beige color? Oh uh, no, I'm going to take, uh, I don't know, we'll see. Okay, I'm going to take the orange one. No, I'm going to take the blue one. Okay. Oh, do we have like a green one? Ah. <gasps> uh. Okay, no, I'm gonna take, no, 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 okay. No, I'm gonna take like a black one to do the outline and then I'm going to color with some colored pencils. I'm scared. <gasps> oh God, okay. And then I'm going to do the head. So we have the outline. 
take with the pencils. I'm going to take the... <gasps> we have a turquoise color. Oh my god, I want to take that. Okay. I'm going to take this color. This is tan. And I'm going to color the mouth with the tan one. And then for the nose, I'm going to take a brown pencil. Uh, I think this one is perfect. This is going to color brown. I'm going to do the eyes and I'm going to take a black pencil. We have like a black pencil, yes, here. I forgot the one here with the tan. This is gray and I'm going to color this gray. This is what the cow emoji looks like so far. I think I did a nice job, okay? I don't know if I should like color it in white or let this like that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna color it this in white. This is what the drawing looks like so far. I think we're gonna end this right here. Um, I probably do like another design. I think I'm gonna do like a heart rainbow. I'm only going to be using some markers. I want to test to see if it's better to draw with pencil or draw with markers. This is the final drawing that I'm going to be turning into a keychain. We have a cap, we have a rainbow heart, and we have a simple flower just right here. I tested, I drew with the marker and colored with the pencils. Here I drew and colored with the pencils. Here I drew and colored with the markers. I want to test it out which one is better and which method is the best. Now what I'm going to do is cut them and you're supposed to cut them as close as possible. Let's call them charms. I'm going to punch a hole where the keychain is going to be. I've never used this type of thing before in my life. Wow! Look at that! It's so cute! Next, we have this. I forgot to let the space for the hole, but it doesn't matter. I'm just going to punch here. Pretty hard. Ew, that's disgusting. Look at that. Now we have our three charms and I'm going to place them in the oven 450 degrees Fahrenheit for one to three minutes. Okay, so the charms just came back from the oven and these are so cute. Oh my god. Can you guys see? This is so cute. The little cow. It's so the flower and the rainbow heart. And I don't know if you guys can hear the sound they make. They're like... Now onto the actual keychain making. So I have the keychain set in this box right here. I got this from Amazon and I'm going to open it first. I am so excited. Okay, so I'm going to pick which one I want. You have this type, you have this one, you have the mini one, you have the big one, then you have a pack of these, and a pack of these. I think for the flower, I'm gonna take the, let's say, one. Okay. I'm gonna take these for the flower. I think it'll look cute. And for the heart, I am going to take... I'm gonna take the same size for the heart. And then for my cow, I think... Yeah, I'll do the same size. I'm going to take three rings in here. One, two, three. I'll open this now. I think I'm gonna need one of these. Ooh, this is cute. Okay, so I think I have to take this round nose pliers and then take the ring open it up i don't know how this works i don't know how to do this how is it supposed to work ah, i don't know i don't know how people do that oh my god this is so hard okay and then i'm going to insert it inside here 
then insert here then I have to close it up I'm in my first keychain! Ah, it's so cute! It's so cute! Oh my god! It's so cute! Now I need to do the same with the rest so much for watching. I definitely loved doing this activity, DIY, craft stuff. I think I'm going to do more of that. This was just to try shrink plastic and to see how to make keychains. I just wanted to really test out and I definitely love making keychains. Oh my god, this is so fun to actually customize something and create something. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more content and I see you guys in my next video. Bye!